Hello. Hello all. Welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we generate a CSV output using e-text template and in a tab delimiter fashion and which has a master child data. Okay. So now we'll see the template logic. So here, if you observe, as the assumption is that we have a data wherein we have the department row as a parent record and EMP row as a child record inside it. So now here, if you observe in the DEPT row, so this is a e-text sample of, you know, like a, a delimiter based separator. And here, and we also mentioned the delimiter is having a separator, like a, a tab separator. We can't mention the character directly. We have to use the ASCII character. So we have considered CHR9, which is a horizontal tab character. And this is the parent data department row. And for every record, what are we doing is we are displaying an hard-coded value called department data, then a tab separator, then the department name column, then the tab separator and the department ID. And after that, we are displaying the EMP row inside it. We are displaying in EMP row, which is a child data inside it. And similarly, we have, you know, like uh, the first one is EMP data, hard-coded data, then EMP ID and E name. Okay. So now let us see the sample data also of this one particular one. So here, if you observe the row set is a total overall parent tag of the sample data. Inside that we have a department row. Under the department row, we have the department columns. Inside department row, we have a couple of EMP rows. So department, for each department row, we have a couple of employees in it. So based on this consideration of sample XML, we have designed the template accordingly. Now, how we do, how do we test it? The e-text template in the local system, right? So we can't see the preview option in the what you called within the MS Word, even though we have and even though we have to design the template using the Microsoft BI Publisher plugin, but you can't test a e-text template from there. So you require a BI Publisher template viewer that will be generally available in the location, the installation location of your BI Publisher. And once you navigate to that, mention the working directory, the place where you have to mention like uh, the place where you're designing your RTF template and also the same location where your data XML should reside. So now once you have, once you navigate to that location, select your particular data file as well as RTF template. And then in the output output format, select e-text and then you click on start processing and you can expect an output similar to this particular fashion. And you can see the character VT, nothing but the vertical tab, right? Or maybe if at all, if you want to have, you know, like a, CHR9, which is a horizontal tab, CHR11, it is a vertical tab. So, yeah. So now what we do is let us try to design this logic now. So, yeah. So here you can observe here, right? So now this is my sample XML sample template, right? Before that, let us observe the data first of all. So this is the actual XML data. The first top level is department row. Now I'll try to have one more record here. Now let us say, I copy this. I'll say, Pin department is over, IT is over, and I'll say HR, HR department, and department ID is 50. And in this one, assume that I have EMP ID like a 505 and EMP name as Vani. So she is an HR and a part of department 50. Now I'll just try to beautify this data. So now I think it's a valid XML data now. Yeah, now we'll just go back to our e-text template and you can observe here, this is a delimiter base. The template type is delimiter base and the remaining, you know, we can just ignore, go with the standard logic and the level, right? The first level is department row. So now why did we mention department row? So this is a top level tag from which we want to read the data. So now department under the department row, I'm at the level department row. Inside this, you have to go with the same syntax and then you can mention any numbers here just like and go with some sequence and mention the format of that particular data. And then the data, you can mention an hard coded value in a single course. And if at all, if you want to read a column name from your particular file, data file, mention the appropriate column name. So here if you observe, we mentioned department name. This is the actual column name in the, in our XML data. And similarly, like CHR9, I said, it's like a tabs, tab separator. We have a horizontal tab separator as a vertical tab separator. CHR9 is a horizontal tab separator and CHR11 is a vertical tab separator. We'll try to have that also. Okay. And now these are the columns. And similarly, 
inside this one right don't close don't like what you call don't concatenate both tables have a separate table better and this here now visit within the emp within the dept with, without ending the dept what we are doing is we have inserted one more table in under that we have a we are reading the emp row data inside that then we have a same set of format then here we are reading the emp data like emp data hardcoded value emp id and e name so we can have other names like uh, let's say if you want to mention salary so let's say say salary i mentioned 1500 2500 okay 11500 now let us say we'll try to have the salary column also what we do just insert row below now what we have to mention let's say i'll go with 60 alpha and what's the column name sal salary now if at all if you want to have a separator before salary what you can do else we can insert one more row right click here insert row below and i'll say 55 alpha chr9 which is a horizontal tab separator now how do we test it so navigate to the place where you have a template viewer so you will find a jar file called tmpl viewer just click on that once you click on that it will open this particular file and here you have to mention the working directory the place where you have your rtf template as well as xml file so i'll just copy this location and here mention that once you mention that automatically it will recognize what are there what are the files available as part of data what are the list of templates which are available select the in the left side select the xml file right side you select the template and here in the format you select the rtf or slash etext template in the output format select etext and then click on start processing that's it so we should be able to see the data now you could observe here for the chr11 which is a vt nothing but a vertical tab it shows like this and if it is a horizontal tab you can easily observe the four character spacing here like a, it's a horizontal tab and now we can observe that the data of emp is residing under the department so for every department it is reading the chain data like a department data emp data e department data emp data that's how it is getting displayed in a, a group about kind of report fashion so this is a, a sample xml of etext template with a tab separator using the etext template with the master detail fashion okay thank you